Hello, we what's up, Minecraft tonight? It's Bebop Fox here to cover everything going on within our Minecraft community. What's going on over at Mojang and everything that you guys have been up to. And, you know, give some stuff away. God, a lot of breath just from jumping. Let me work out. In your Mojang news, it looks like Mojang is getting sued again. Woo, good times. You guys, yeah, you know what? It has been a while. I thought we were overdue. Well, Unilock is a US-based company and they are suing Mojang for a US patent law infringement. The main thing going on right now is US copyright infringement and patent infringement. So you have copyrights and that usually covers everything you need to worry about your product. But then you have software patents where it's really broad in general and, and really, what? Everything falls under that? You gotta be kidding me. That's pretty much it. Let me give you an example, like what Mojang is being sued for. Specifically, this patent says, without the consent or authorization of Unilock, by or through making, using, offering for sale, selling and or importing Android-based applications for use on cell phones and or tablet devices that require communication with the server to platform a license check to prevent the unauthorized use of said application, including but not limited to Minecraft. That's right, I just said Minecraft. If you're going to sue somebody, make sure you use the right terminology for what they created. M-I-N-D, that pretty much just void out your entire ruling right there. Now just so you know, Unilock, these guys have been going after a ton of other people like Microsoft and a bunch of others, so this is nothing new and they keep trying to use the same patent. Now if you hate legal jargon and you just want to get down to the meat and potatoes of this, here it is. Basically, he has patented an idea. That's like saying, oh, I just created the idea of television. You can never create a show without my permission. <laughs> no, 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 okay. Same scenario, different situation. Instead, somebody wants to create a computer monitor. Guess what? You're gonna be sued because this guy who created the TV basically said, nope, it seems like a TV to me. I'm suing you. You stole my idea. Specifically, this idea is an application that is used to validate usernames and passwords with a server. So, pretty much everything. Now, this guy hasn't won a single one yet. And now he's going after Big Dog Mojang. That's right, you guys aren't indie anymore. So, these guys are coming out of the woodwork to sue you and they are crazy. And it wasn't soon after that Notch tweeted about it. If needed, I will throw piles of money, making sure that they do not get a cent. That is what I'm talking about. If you want to know what's going on, down below is the full PDF of the lawsuit. I also linked you the patent that was filed, so if you want a little light reading. Speaking of Notch, if you like Notch and gaming and charity, there you go, he loves it too. So CubeTubers, in two weeks, he's gonna be live streaming with a bunch of people on there, raising money for charity and doing a bunch of goofy. So what else is going on over at Mojang? Well, besides their new office, they're all taking a vacation. That's right, they're all going different corners of the globe. You take a vacation? What? I didn't know people could take vacations. Back in my day, your vacation was sleeping. That's a vacation. I'm gonna go take one right now. Show's over. Whoop. Hey, hey, you guys are still here. Okay, because a couple other people are still at Mojang too working behind the scenes. Like the Scrolls team, because they're still working out a bunch of bugs from your guys' feedback, good finds on them, and also, more alpha codes are gonna get passed out. I don't even have one yet. So in two weeks, more alpha codes are gonna get passed out. Now when beta starts, then everybody's gonna get a code that, uh, you know, was at Minecon, and then other people are can pay for it. It's gonna be the same payment system, just like Minecraft. It's gonna be a discount, and then once it's fully released, then it's gonna be more expensive. Now we're gonna hear more in August, so hopefully around then we're gonna get a specific date on when it will go beta. Hey, speaking of Minecon, this week we should be seeing the Minecon announcement video. So, pretty much already know it's gonna be in Paris, France, and also, I uh, don't know how much or when. If the announcement video comes out this week, then link down below and I'm gonna annotate it right here. But in two weeks after that video comes out, then hopefully, ee, registration should be open. So everybody can start getting the hotel, get a very nice discount, because last year it was a great discount. Make sure to take advantage of it. But now if you can't make the Minecon, at least try to make it over with PAX, because there you go, USers. The Mojang team is heading over there to give a panel PAX talk. 
The panel talk is all going to be about Jens and what happened since he became the main developer. Also, the Bucket team will be there talking about all the future updates with Minecraft and what they're currently planning. They're going to be there to answer all your questions, but also live streaming. So there you go, if you can't make that. And Minecraft Pocket Edition, update your phones. It has stuff. Go find it. Oh, and the, uh, the Xbox, 3 million sales now. Woo! Also, months ago, I showed you that you could vote on Conan O'Brien Clueless Gamer segment where you could pick what game he was going to play next. Well, this week, he finally plays Minecraft and uh, the score, meh, it isn't so great. With the point system, 88 being pretty good, 110 being excellent, 150 being awful, and 3, not bad. It received a 26C, so uh, not bad, but definitely check out this video. Also, we get our first sneak peek at Minecraft 1.3 coming out. Here you go with Snapshot 12W30B. But now it's time to hook you guys up. What are all the awesome stuff you guys are doing? Go to bebopbox.com, hit contact over there, and it has all my emails on there. If you find something awesome, even if it's not you, just find something awesome in general, feel free to share it. Or Twitter me at twitter.com slash bebopbox. Honestly, that's a little bit quicker. I am terrible about answering email. That's why I have an auto response. I'm sorry. So anyway, first one up, a creeper like you music video. Brilliant female vocals. You have to listen to this. Ugh, there's so many parodies coming out. I, I'm tired of getting all these stuck in my head, but I'm showing them off because it's worth it. If I'm showing it off, it's worth it. There's a lot of them, and it is hard to pull them off right, and these guys do it. Did I say these guys? Because there's another one. Whoa, 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 wait. Let me give you 10 seconds of that last one. Go! Never will I kill you again, Steve. I got no one in this world. I'm so lonely. It's not my fault. I'm crowned full of suffering. Ah, okay, well, this next one, I try, I'm sorry. I'm just apologizing ahead of time, all right? I know it's all stuck in her head, but I'm gonna do it. Call Me Maybe parody, I'm sorry. I swear I thought I was done with these Call Me Maybe parodies, but this is good. You have to listen to it. Female vocals, once again, brilliant job. Man, here's 10 seconds of it. Let's go kill some monsters, TV. Hey, I just saved you. Your third one here isn't a parody, don't worry about it, you're safe. But it's all about the life of an arrow. It's kind of like the Lord of War, the very beginning where it's, you know, tracking the weapons throughout the selling process. Well, there you go. Follows a piece of flint and I almost threw up because he holds it sideways for so long. <clears throat> it's good, nonetheless. All right, guys, now it's time to show you a fun mod. Well, pretend it's the apocalypse. Just another day. Each day that you're in this world and you survive, the sun gets bigger and bigger and it starts to collide with the world. Because the sun's getting closer, things are catching fire, things are dying off. And then before you know it, boom, lava everywhere. Now this, this is how you survive. You just, this is interesting, okay? Because try to build a house, do what you can, that's a lot of fun. I don't know how Steve's still surviving when other things are combusting into flames, but you know, whatever. All right, now you guys are always working on texture packs. This week I want to show off Rustica. It's a 16 by 16 texture pack. You need an MC patcher? Oh, and you know, it only received 2,000 downloads in one day. Well done. This thing has a great blending job done on it, but they show it off with the shader mod. If there's one thing, it's a big pet peeve of mine, is showing off texture packs with a shader mod. But most people don't play with that mod. Yeah, it looks good, but a lot of people wanna know what the default textures are and how they can compare it to the normal Minecraft. It's just a really bad habit right now in the community that's like everybody's posting everything with the GLSL shader and the Optifine mod. Stop it! I'm not being a hater though. I'm just jealous. 
I'm terrible at installing mods. Nevertheless, though, this is two months well spent. I really enjoyed this texture pack. Everything has a very nice, even theme. Nothing's overdone, nothing's underdone. Some of it's a little washed out, but it's still very sexy. The best part is, though, this creator is very active about updating this texture pack. So if you have any suggestions, he is more than happy to work with you and just kind of play around with ideas. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Holy sh <laughs> Did you see that? This amazing cathedral build, call it a cathedral, church, castle, whatever you want, a giant artwork piece, whatever, because it is amazing. This build alone is why I enjoy showing your guys stuff off and why I love that you also want to share it with other people in the community because that's what this segment is all about. Now, right when you download this world, it takes forever to load up the chunks. In fact, while I was filming this footage, it pretty much crashed like 10 times because of Java errors. And I allocated my RAM. It is still crazy. Now that's, that is impressive. So be sure to check this out. So awesome. Next up, if you love the Avengers, steal their helipad carrier. Heli carrier? Steal it. Go ahead, you can get it for free. Jets and all, and hangers, all up in it. And finally, something just really simple. A very cool looking survival island, just for you to go run around and go crazy on. So there you go, all those links are down there below for you. But that first one, oh my god. That alone, I just had to show you today. That alone was worth all of it. And your guys seed this week is a uh, survival island. Has a tree, has bamboo, has grass. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, <laughs> what? Then it has this thing. Whatever that is. A dungeon? It's a dungeon. Five feet under the water. What? That's an ender portal down there. Right by spawn. I've never seen that. That alone? Worth it. I'm done. I'm sold. I don't know about you. I'm good. Later. Wait a minute. Okay, the skins this week. There you go. You got a honey badger. Because, you know, he don't give a... We have a new skin adventure, which could be the next Steve, but also Nathan Drake. Much better than Steve. Great job with the shading, guys. But now it's time for your contest this week. $25 over at Jinx.com. Go get that new Jinx Creeper hoodie. Or better yet, just get this. This is all you need. Ow! Ow! Whoa! Seriously, awesome. $25 over at Jinx.com. Boom! Just go ahead and subscribe to this awesome channel for all your gaming news and Minecraft news for the Minecraft Monday show. Comment on whatever you want down below so I can pick you at random for next week's show. Or if you need help, comment on the Creeper Bar question of the week. What kind of hat would you create? Maybe a creeper hat. You know, a pig hat. I want to do that. I want a big box pig hat. It would be like that. You know, like a big cardboard box. It would be like a legit hat, ears. But hey guys, that is it for me. Thank you for putting up with me. I am Bebop Vox. Thank you for watching the Minecraft Monday show. Be sure to share it with your fellow Minecraft addicts wherever you share things with all your fellow addicts. Because they should be just as well informed and make sure that they show me all their awesome stuff. Hit me up on Twitter, twitter.com slash Vox, and hit me up on Facebook. You can post anything on there. Facebook.com slash the Bebop Vox. All right, guys, I will see you throughout the week for the Vox of Gaming. Diamond, see you! And as always, happy Minecrafting.